Today is a very special day because it is the first day of shooting our 300th episode of the show, and which is unbelievable and amazing. And none of us, I don't think, thought we'd get here. I remember my character started on the show around about the time of the 100th episode celebration. So I was here for that celebration. And it feels like yesterday, like time has just flown. So that's why we're here, to celebrate the fact that we did three, we're, we're at 300 episodes and still going strong. And it's a, it's a very, very special day. It's a really great episode, the 300th episode, because uh, Krista's written a script that's kind of, a, has this very nostalgic feeling. And in this really smart, clever ways that only Krista and Shonda can do. The thing about Grey's, it's really quite an intangible thing. I think that's why it's such a, it's such a special show because it really is the mixture of drama and comedy and entertainment with quite serious subjects sometimes and really adult situations mixed with fun and irreverence and I think quite inspirational characters. All of these characters and these surgeons that we follow each week all have struggled in their personal lives, in their professional lives, and continue to fight the good fight and to try and get better as a person, as a surgeon, and to, you know, fulfill their own potential. I think that's, I think there's just so many universal themes about that that people connect to, you know? People really connect to the fact that none of us are perfect, you know? But we all do our best and we're all trying to improve and get better each day and learn something each day. And I think that is the core lesson and also it's just it's a it's a it's a great ride and you become invested with these characters but i think thematically that's the thing that i feel is the is the most inspirational thing about the show is that is that it's about the show is about you know struggling on and getting through the tough moments and becoming a better person for it i've met many people in the last years who are, have have graduated and are now practicing medicine and they said specifically because they watched our show, which is very flattering and kind of humbling because none of us are doctors and we don't, we can't save a life really, you know, we do on TV. But the, to, to think that that kind of nudged somebody's life towards that path of, of service, and it really is a service, um, you know, that you're, you're, you're giving yourself to the service of the, the wellness of other people, it's kind of amazing and it, it's quite humbling when you meet people, and I've met many people uh, that tell me stories like that, which is, it's cool. I've been through a lot in my life, my personal life in the past few years, and this show is, it's like my family now. You know, it really is like my family. I'm from Scotland, as you can probably hear in my accent. Um, but this has become my family in this really quite meaningful way. Um, and it's kept me alive, you know, uh, kind of spiritually in a sense, because there's such good energy here, and th I've made some life lifelong friends here. Um, you know, uh, we've done so much. I mean, it, it's hard to remember sometimes how much we've done. And I just feel really honored that I get to be part of it and grateful and thankful. And that's not me sort of put, painting on a fake smile. I mean it, you know, like I'm really... I realize how lucky I am and how fortunate I've been to be and to be involved in this sort of show, you know. Some of the things that we've done, yeah, and I got, I got to start directing, you know. I've become a director because of this show and because Shonda had faith in me and Rob Corn had faith in me and Debbie Allen had faith in me and all kind of, you know, cheered me on and encouraged me and that would never have happened. I, it may have happened, but, you know, for, for those things, I'm really blown away honestly, at, at, at what this show has done for, for me and my life and where I feel my potential is going. And I'll be forever grateful for that, you know, and long may it continue.